Hello everybody, my name is Emily Edgett and I will be your child's English teacher this year. This video is going to take you through um, some of the different components that we work on in my classroom um, so you can kind of get to know what we're doing in here. If you have any questions at the end of this video on the last slide, I left my contact information. Please don't hesitate to reach out by phone or by email. A little bit about my class. This is a learning support classroom, which means that it's a slower paced English class and it's differentiated, which means the instruction is tailored to your child's reading needs. We use the Read 180 program, which I will talk about in the next slide a little bit, but we do a lot of instruction in reading, writing, spelling, and vocabulary. Um, your child will be with me two periods every day. A little bit about the Read 180 program, if you don't know what it is, um, and something nice is that we actually have the brand new Read 180 program. It's called Read 180 Universal. We got it last year, so it's completely updated and everything is very relevant, and so far the students are really enjoying it. So it's a curriculum that is designed to accelerate students' achievements and test scores for struggling readers. The program, especially the computer program, it adapts right to where your student needs, um, you know, adapts right to their reading level, and it, it targets instruction in those areas for comprehension and vocabulary and spelling. The lessons will consist of whole group lessons, small group lessons, um, individual reading and writing, and then there's the adaptive computer program piece. Each workshop is centered around a certain topic, and we do two workshops a year. Um, and the titles of these workshops are Life in Dystopia and The Hunt for Lincoln's Killer. To supplement the Read 180 program, we do a lot of vocabulary instruction in my classroom. We will have a vocabulary quiz about once or twice a month. I try to have the quizzes on a Friday just to keep it consistent. I always email study materials home, um, which consists of some online study tools and a study guide. Students typically will have about two weeks to prepare for these quizzes. And I always encourage and just tell the students that I do expect that they, they are studying for these words and for the quiz outside of my classroom. I also, um, deliver spelling instruction just for sixth grade. And I use this program that targets students based on where they need help with spelling. Um, so when you know we're, we're giving the word lists out to students, most students are on a different list because they are getting help right where they need it. Um, spelling sets and quizzes are given bi-weekly. Um, I try to keep it bi-weekly as much as I can. Um, and then students will practice these words on the Quizlet spell feature. If you are ever looking for your child's spelling list for that, you know, that those two weeks, their word list and name will be in their ELA notebook. Since everybody is on a different list, um, there's not just one set email that gets sent out. Book clubs, we will participate in a few book clubs per year. Um, and what they are is just kind of what that picture looks like about three to four students in a group, um, and they they get to choose a book that they want to read together that's on their reading level. And as a group, you know, I try as much as possible for the students to lead their own groups, and they complete a variety of activities with the text, and I also have them read out loud, so they are practicing their oral reading fluency. Go My Access is a writing program that we use, and this is also used for progress monitoring for students' IEPs. Um, I call them GMAs. Essentially, it's an essay that the students are writing. Um, we'll write seven a year, um, and it's a computer program, so students will type their final draft into the Go My Ac Access writing program, submit it, and get a score. So these are the scores that we are using for this for the students' IEP goals. Literature circles, these are completed as whole group. We will read a couple novels a year per grade, um, and we focus on vocabulary comprehension and just analysis of you know, the characters and the setting. We listen 
with an audiobook and follow along in our own books as well to support our comprehension. In sixth grade this year, we will read Holes and Old Yeller. And in eighth grade, we'll, we will read The Watsons Go to Birmingham and Fever 1793. Just some tips to support your readers at home. Um, I'm not going to read through the list, but we really want to, you know, get our students reading 20 minutes a day. Students are reading in my classroom about 15 minutes every day. I try to get them reading every day in here. Um, but if you can also, in, you know, encourage your child at home to read, any kind of reading is reading. So even, you know, newspapers, articles, um, all of those can help our, you know, our students reading comprehension. If you have any questions regarding the slideshow or my classroom, anything you feel that I didn't cover, please feel free to contact me. Um, my email is right there and my phone number as well. I try to speedily reply to emails. So um, again, don't hesitate to reach out to me anytime throughout this year. And I, and I look forward to this year. We've already had a great start um, and I get, I'm looking forward to getting to know everybody even more. All right. Thank you so much for listening. Take care.